Good morning guys, my name is Yvonne Ko and I'm a third year student here at UBC Vancouver campus studying interdisciplinary studies and I'm so excited to be back to do another takeover for a third part in the series called Arts Conversations. So today's event is going to be called Reality Bites and I'm so excited to do this because it's where students get to sit down with alumni and have very candid conversations about the post-grad life. So the stresses behind it, journeys, experiences, all that good stuff. So that's basically the gist of the event. Also, very shortly, I will be heading on campus to find a couple students and just ask them about what they're worried about post-grad. And I'm also going to have a little box here to ask you guys what you're worried about. And if you have any questions for the event tonight, also drop it here. Um, I think obviously finding a job like most people are. Um, and finding a place to live and deciding like if I'm gonna live with my parents or stay here. But also kind of right now, the way that I think about it is, I mean, for me, I'm a second year, so that's still like two years off. So I'm kind of just gonna take life as it comes and hope that I'll figure it out when I get there. Yeah, postgrad is something I've always worried about, whether it's getting into school or just finding a job afterwards or what you're gonna do, whether you should move cities or not. I don't know if I have it all collected now, but, uh, Getting into the job market and getting my foot in the door is something I want to do. Hi, so the biggest things that I'm concerned about after graduation are how I'm going to continue learning and developing myself and what other opportunities I'm going to be able to find once I graduate from UBC where every day I'm learning new skills and developing myself and bettering myself. So afterwards, it's am I going to be able to find a firm that can continue teaching me and maybe for me has support me in getting my CPA or am I going to be able to work with good mentors still and develop myself? I, uh, the fear of staying stagnant and not being able to uh, work towards my, my personal education still is the biggest thing that, that concerns me. Hey guys, I hope you got a chance to look at some of the past couple of stories about what other students said about what they're worried about post-grad because I know for me, I resonated a lot with those and the biggest thing, I guess, is uncertainty of what's going to happen post-graduation, which is why this event is so good because it opens up that conversation to talk about what you're worried about. And so this event's going to start at six, so in a couple hours, I will see you guys again. And here's a fun little poll to do if you want to. See you soon. Hi everyone, my name is Lee. I'm a fourth year history student. I'm really excited for this event and to meet all the alumni for history and for arts and also learn about what I can do with my degrees. Uh, so for tonight's event, I hope all the students have a lot of questions. Uh, it's anything's fair game, so be curious and ask away. Um, but the most important takeaway from this is that even after you graduate and you start your career, it's not the destination, it's about the journey. Uh, so uh, basically every job that I've had was right for me in the moment and so there was no destination it was just whatever was whatever I needed in the moment so if I needed more education then then I went and got that um, if I needed to work with more people then I got that if I needed um, more money then I got that so everything was just right in the moment uh, for yeah what I needed. all right um, my first job coming out of school was at a tech startup called Invoke and basically um, I was working in digital marketing and communications there. I got it through my friend who was working there and he basically referred me in and that's the power of networking. Hi, um, a few general tips on um, what the world is like after school and what to expect is um, I think as a new grad, my tip would be always stay curious, always um, work really hard, show your work ethic, let that shine, and with that, people will notice, and um, you never know what might come your way. Once you accomplish one piece, let people know. Tell people what you want to do, um, and with that, I think um, it'll really get you to different places. Good luck! Hey guys, I just got back from the event and that was so much fun. I got to speak to so many people and gain new perspectives and insights, which is super nice. And yeah, overall, as a takeaway, I just think that 
What I've learned is that the connections you make are super important and it is all about trusting yourself as well throughout the whole process of things and believing that you have what it takes and also telling people that you have what it takes so people are aware of you and your abilities and will keep you in their mind for future connections and to not stress about things because they will happen as they come and you will deal with it as they come. So that is one of my takeaways. It was so much fun doing this event. So there's actually an event called Launch Your Career in Canada, which is an event created more for international students and giving more information on how to do that. So that event is coming up on March 9th, so you can search it up and sign up for it. One more thing I wanted to shine light on before I end off the night is work learn positions. They are literally opportunities for you to work on campus and they're up to 20 hours a week. There's opportunities like lab assistants or communications assistants. There's so many different options that you can check out. The application starts next Monday, so go check that out for the summer session of it. And yeah, it's such a cool experience. Okay guys, I am kind of sad to be done this takeover, but it was so much fun and I hope you guys took away something from this. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for following my takeover and have a good night.